Hello guys and welcome back, this is Elder Neon from Trillion. So today I'm going to teach you how we can hack any website template and get the template into a PC without just doing some random stuff, so just right, right clicking, copying their stuff manually, just put pasting in some HTML documents. So this is going to be an easy process by, for you, I promise. So I'm, I'm we're mainly talking in the blog website because the WordPress website has some, so much complication going on. They sometimes have their own uh, like handmade website uh, template so you can just copy the website template like that because they have so many files in there so that's just shit that's gonna just be like time wasting and that's not gonna give any good results so I'm uh, talking to my own website eldoneweb.com this is a blogger website I made this website totally by myself but the thing with blogger is that benefit that they just put the all of the template into one file and that's all they can do because they can create multiple template files that's not possible for them so I'm just talking to the website so first of all what you need to do you need to go to google and download the gonna download Python so you need to download the Python into your PC and install the Python after download the in and installing the Python what you need to do what you need to do so we're gonna search for CMD come on prompt so here I need to just type uh, pip install what is type pip install request is so you need to hit enter so they're gonna install the request module into your PC you don't need to just worry about that uh, now we can use now we can use any like uh, any file editor or what you can do you can just use normal no pass I'm gonna use the pro probably gonna use their file editors that's because of the fonts and stuff so now I'm gonna just go like here yeah, for me create a new folder name it as website hack and now open the folder now here I'm gonna just open a new Python file so you just save the file uh, format should be like all files so you're gonna select like website hack.py so I'm gonna just put location to desktop somewhere website hack save it there close it so you can see we got the website hack now right click here open it with code or just open it with like normal notepad that's easy so I like that and first of all you need to write the command uh, import request so this is like a request is the module so you don't need to understand about that this is like a like uh, or a ready-made recipe for that for this stuff you're gonna do right now so it's like a ready-made uh, like they have already given you the materials you only need to just execute, execute the material. So now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go like website is equal to, you need to put out requests dot get. So get, they're gonna get the data from the website and data, and that that should be named that get should be uh, the website URL should be put in it into parentheses and the double quotes, two double quotes. I'm gonna like https double dot slash slash eldenyweb.com. After that, you can just put like .txt at the end of the file to just make it you know, text format. Now, but if not, you can just uh, create like put it somewhere else. So now I'm gonna specify that here. Data is equal to website dot text. So we just created that. Now what do we want to do? We don't want to just pay, just put the data here somewhere. We want to just create a file. We want the Python to create a file for us. So I will be giving this uh, script down right around. So what you need to do, you only need to just I'm gonna I'm gonna just make it better for you. So for now, let's see. Let's just listen to what I'm saying. If you want to create it manually, or if not, you can use my script. I will be giving here like down right around somewhere. So now what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna uh, just start there. I'm just gonna create a new file. So for creating a new file, I'm gonna I'm gonna open my like uh, wid open so something like that. So the file name will be saved as. Uh, website template or uh, website underscore template dot html txt let's say html yeah so dot html and uh, that's better and we're gonna st start this uh, f now listen guys this file will be saved in your download folders or in the folder where you're uh, running the file from or where you're creating the python file and this will only just check the directory because this is because if we're just gonna import the OS module, no, I'll leave that. That's an uh, advanced thing. So first of all, just concentrate on what I'm saying. After opening the file, what you, what you need to do, you need to just go like specify. We're gonna just go like f dot write. Let's put a write command here. So write. That's better. We're gonna go like f dot write. We're gonna write the data of the f, and we're gonna write data to the f into the f file. So that's so easy. You can see right now. We have nothing here. If you want to just save that first of all, let's right click here, run as interact to your window. Or if you don't have the code editor, what you can do, you can just always like go to CMD into the file and you can run the file from there. You can just go like Python 
after that you're gonna go like website and just go hack dot dot hide hit enter so they're gonna just create a new file here so you can see process is over and they created a new file for me and uh, if I'm gonna open the file with brave guys are you watching something so you can see this is just because I have a JavaScript uh, thing going on. I just was some doing the promotions, so you can just close that and look. This is your own HTML directory, and they're taking time to load because uh, I have some of the things like they are getting all the like images from the blogger thing. Like this is all online, so just trying to connect the data and just get the image and stuff. And you just put your own image. That's all. You can see we got the every single thing from that website, and every single link is working. You can see your garage. I got the you can get the copyright stuff. You can get every single stuff. You can get every single feature of any website you want to target. So that's so easy. Now I'm gonna do what? I'm gonna just make it like automatic for every user. So I'm gonna just uh, add some uh, extra stuff into this one. So I'm gonna go like. Probably ask is it called to input? Please type the name of the website you want to hack, like and get data off. So you're gonna add, you just need to put the name URL there, and after that. What we can do here, I'm gonna go to dot time, let's put like ask there. So you can see, this is all. Let me just show you an example here. Let me delete the file. You can just run it. Now I will open this file. I'm just gonna open CMD. Again, let's go to Python. This is my script now, alright? Uh, Python, uh, let's say, what's the name of our website? Let's go hack.py. Please enter the name of the website. So we're gonna like https double slash slash eldoni check dot. It's one of the website. Here we go. So for more better process. After that, print. Done. Downloading. So I'm gonna make it much better for you guys. So now we need to just import another uh, install another like module, which is OS. So that's not much. I think this is a uh, pretty low premium download. I'm just download this because just to show you guys. Yeah, where the file is downloaded actually. Uh, Location is called always dot gets location and now I'm downloading so uh, website template uh, downloader made by Algorithm like that Let's delete this file so for the CMD, let's delete this file. and uh, python website on this for hack the pi made by Aldoni was the name of the website alright the name is hbitle slash slash Aldoni check Alright, you can see the website, you can see the location, and this will be the location of wherever you're gonna download the file. Done downloading. Uh, location of download is. Look, guys, what I'm doing for you. Just create a space file location. I'm gonna just run it last time, so. Please like this video, this is only for you guys, you know. I'm just showing you how to how do we create scripts and I already got six days learning Python. This is so easy, man.
down downloading location of file on down of download is this 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 so you can just run the script on uh, your termix you can download the termix for android so that's so easy let's let's been running this file that we downloaded a few like a few million times probably so you can see the file is taking time to load i don't know if the file is really alive or not because the website has never been used before Yeah, it's hard to get to open the file, you know. It's kind of like a shitty side. <laughs> I did some stuff on that. So I don't know if it will work or not. Well, kind of, it, it should work, but you know, it will take a long time. A really long time. You can see they're waiting for some dot one dot bp dot blocks, but... So guys, what do you need to do? I want you to do some little, little bit of editing by yourself. So what do you need to do all? It's like nothing. You can see the website is now loaded. But the problem is I have already just like... And they first of all need to connect to some of the they need to download some of the emails from Google. They need to check if every single thing is matching or not. And whatever more data you need to download from Google, you need to download all the posts from Google. So that's the shit stuff, you know? You need to just mention every single thing by yourself and then otherwise it's all good. So hope you like this video and if you like share this video, I'm gonna provide the scribbling around. Bye bye and see you in the next one.